Another individual who joined a secret society was Adolf Hitler, the head of the Nazi Socialist Party in Germany. He joined a secret society called the Thule Society, termed the secret prime mover of Nazism. And it is a rare historian who has written about the importance of this group or the fact that Hitler had joined it. The authors of a book on this organization wrote. It is in the Thule Society that one has to look for the real inspiration of Nazism. Before I continue the video, please take a second to smash that like button. Thank you. The Thule Society had interesting roots. It was itself. But a fragment of a much more important secret society, known as the Germanic Order founded in 1912. That organization had its origin in other secret societies. They had gathered together certain lodges of the Prussian Freemasonry, as well as a number of openly anti-Semitic associations. The Thule Society became a particularly active branch of the main society. The importance of the Thule Society in the formation of the Nazi party is now being discovered, but not generally by the historians who write the accidental school of history. The committee and the 40 original members of the new German Workers' Party were all drawn from the most powerful occult society in Germany. The Thule Society. But the most revealing statement made about this society was that the major leaders all had a common religion. The inner core within the Thule Society were all Satanists who practiced black magic. Another writer on the Thule Society is Joseph Carr, who has written a book entitled, The Twisted Cross. In it, he makes this observation. The inner group which controlled the Thule Society contained men who were self-confessed Luciferians. So, the evidence is that Hitler himself became a Luciferian. He had absorbed the works of the tragic philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche whose powerful dissertation on the genealogy of morals sought to make a revaluation of all values in the proof that so-called evil was good and what was habitually believed to be good was evil. Here is that thought again that the God of the Bible is evil and somehow the God considered to be evil is good. And that what was needed was a re-evaluation of morals. In other words, that which has been taught by the biblical good God has to be eliminated and a new system substituted therefore. These thoughts will be examined later in this video. But Hitler also acknowledged the role of Freemasonry in his life. In Hitler's observations, published under the title Hitler Speaks, one can rediscover the important role played by German Freemasonry as a model for esoteric structuring of the Nazi party. Just like so many other secret societies, the Thule Society had an esoteric structuring. That must have meant that there were two classes of members, those who knew what the secret was and those who didn't. But there is evidence that Adolf Hitler was one of the members of the society that knew. The man who played the most important role in Hitler's life was Dietrich Eckert, one of the original seven who founded the Nazi party and who was in fact called the spiritual founder of Nazism. One writer wrote just how important Eckert was in Hitler's life. Adolf Hitler himself considered Eckert as the most important influence on his life. It is known that Eckert had experimented with numerous drugs in an attempt to reach higher consciousness. It is now being discovered that Hitler also attempted the same thing. Hitler attained higher levels of consciousness by means of drugs and made a penetrating study of medieval occultism and ritual magic. Eckert has been called a dedicated Satanist and a central figure in a powerful and widespread circle of occultists, the Thule Society. But he was also believed in the future appearance of Lord Maitreya, the hoped for New Age Messiah. Eckert participated in a series of seances with two Russian generals who had left their native land to come to Germany. During these seances, Eckert and his associates were told of the imminent appearance of the German messiah, a Lord Maitreya. And he deliberately guided the career of Hitler into the occult world of Satan and Lucifer worship. When he lay dying, he told those gathered at his bedside. Follow Hitler. He will dance, but it is I who have called the tune. I have initiated him into the secret doctrine, opened his centers in vision, and given him the means to communicate with the powers. Do not mourn for me. I shall have influenced history more than any other German. Eckert claimed to his fellow adepts in the Thule Society that he had personally received a kind of satanic annunciation, meaning announcement that he was destined to prepare the vessel of the Antichrist, the man inspired by Lucifer to conquer the world and lead the Aryan race to glory. Another of the links of the Thule Society with Lucifer worship is the emblem chosen as the symbol of the Nazi party itself, the swastika. The dictionary defines a swastika as a cross with its four equal arms bent back in a right angle extension. There are two forms of the symbol. One with its arms bent to the left, and one with the arms bent to the right. The former is universally a symbol of good, while the latter is universally a symbol of evil. Hitler personally selected the final design of the Nazi blood flag, the one carrying the swastika as an emblem representing the Nazi party. He reversed the swastika from the one proposed to the form that represents evil. Hitler had a model to base his selection on. The swastika was the symbol of the Thule Society. Its official insignia. 
consisted of the swastika travers by two lances. Manley P. Hall in his book entitled, Lectures on Ancient Philosophy advised his readers just what the swastika represented. The swastika is the whirling cross that represents the centralizing motion of the eternal all. One of the original founders of the Thule Society, Rudolf von Sabotendorf, linked the swastika with another symbol, the sun, when he made this statement in November of 1918. I intend to commit the Thule Society to this combat. I swear it on this swastika, on this sign which for us is sacred, in order that you hear it, O magnificent sun. So the swastika was a symbol of the Thule Society, it was a symbol of the Nazi party, it was somehow connected to a symbol of the sun god, and the sun god was a symbol of Lucifer. And those who resisted the symbol of the swastika and all it represented, had to pay for it with the supreme sacrifice on the bloody altar of war. 50 million people died in World War II. 50 million people sacrificed to the religion of Lucifer. All because the historians who write the accidental view of history, somehow were unable to determine that Adolf Hitler had joined a Luciferic cult named the Thule Society, some 16 years before the war started. But, remember, those who write the accidental view of history do not believe the conspirators plan wars inside secret societies. And they certainly do not believe that Lucifer is a being that is worshipped by secret societies. This was everything inside me channel. Please like, share, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell too. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I will upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. Thanks for watching till the end. Stay safe and healthy.